Hello, my name is Jose Garcia. Today I would like to discuss about schools and the times in which they start. I believe that the school's starting times have a very big impact on a student's life and their abilities. All throughout the world and all throughout the U.S., students battle waking up early mornings to make sure that they are on time for school. As far as high schools in the United States, education is required. So that means students must show up to school and they must be on time. Some schools have a great opportunity of starting at a later time. However, some don't. Some start as early as 7.25 in the morning. This means that some students go to school feeling sleep deprived and feeling tired. Then these same students are expected to perform at a very high level. If there's two things that students want in education, that is one, to get better grades, and two, to get enough sleep. That being said, let's take a look at some advantages that come from early school startings. One, if a school starts early, that also means that they are able to dismiss at an earlier time as well. If a school starts from anywhere to 7 to 8 o'clock in the morning, that means that they are able to dismiss from anywhere to 3 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. This allows the student to have enough free time in the afternoon to do whatever they desire. A student could pick up a job, turn cash, join a club, come or join an organization, or even try out for sports. Anything the student wanted to do, realistically, they could go out and do it. Another advantage that comes from early school startings is more for the parents than it is for the t uh, more for the parents than it is for the students. That is, that parents can work around an easier schedule. In a scenario where a child had to be dropped off for school, a parent could drop off their child at school with enough time to make it to work on time and safely. All of this scenario does depend on uh, the times and locations from each place, but for the most part it's more convenient. The only downfall to early school startings is students don't get enough sleep. I'll discuss this here in a bit. Now let's take a look at the benefits that come from school starting at a later time. Number one, most important, students get enough sleep. According to nationwidechildren.org, nationwide uh, studies show that teenagers on average do not get enough, do not get the amount of sleep that they should. Teenagers should get anywhere from eight to nine hours of sleep every night. However, students only get from anywhere to six to seven and a half hours of sleep. Now, most people think that the 30 minutes, hour, two, and a, two hours doesn't really do anything, but it has a very big impact on the student's life. Uh, that causes the student to become, uh, to suffer from sleep deprivation. Sleep deprivation is a condition in which students or which person uh, does not get enough sleep. Symptoms to this include uh, being sleepier during the day, having constant and unexpected mood swings, means from going happy one moment to being sad or angry the next. It also causes the student to have difficulty concentrating. They can't focus on their schoolwork, which will then reflect on their grades. According to Stanford University Medical Program, uh, studies show that a teenager's body is biologically programmed to sleep at a later time. This means that when it's time for the person to go to sleep, they will not be tired. I do know this from experience. With that being said, out of those students who go to sleep at a later time, some of those students wake up early in the morning. Some wake up as early as 5 o'clock in the morning. In a comparison between those students who do not get enough sleep to those who do, the students with not enough sleep tend to have more attitude problems, tend to be have, tend to have a worse behavior and tend to have lower grades due to the lack of concentration. That being compared to a student who gets their full eight to nine hours of sleep, that student with full sleep will have a better attitude, better behavior, and better grades. Finally, school times vary all throughout the world. There are benefits for both school starting at an earlier time and school starting at a later time. However, I do believe that more benefits do come from school starting at a later time. Later, later start in school uh, allows students to get caught up with their sleep and not fall into a serious sleep deprivation. With students not falling into serious sleep deprivation, that will allow their grades to improve and bring a better attitude within their life. They also tend to have a better behavior uh, with enough sleep. That means that they'll act better around other people. In a school environment with students who, who have enough sleep,
that environment compared to an environment with students who don't get enough sleep, uh, there's a drastic change. Uh, students with enough sleep uh, bring bring better attitudes and better behavior uh, to an environment, to a school campus, than those who don't. Behavior issues won't be as bad. It will be a great positive attitude to uh, a school environment with students who get enough sleep, and also the test scores will become better. Uh, students who get enough sleep will focus more, so uh, they'll have the ability to concentrate uh, on the school that they're doing, and they won't uh, they won't feel as bad taking taking tests and taking classes than a student who's feeling tired throughout the class. This shows, or this would be great for school environments to, this would be great for school environments, uh, this will reflect great on school environments to show how good they can actually be. In conclusion, I believe that schools should start at a later time uh, in order to allow students to get enough sleep and show how great they, they can actually be. Thank you. Is that good?